Hi, I'm Andrew from Purse, and I'm going to get you guys excited about Bitcoin again. If you're like most Bitcoiners I know, you bought the vision, you bought some coins, but you can't figure out what to do with it yet. Well, that all ends today. But before I get started, I'd like to do a quick survey. Can I see a show of hands if you purchased tickets for Coin Summit using Bitcoin? Wow. So um, at the world's largest gathering of Bitcoin uh, enthusiasts, it looks like just about 20%. So let me tell you about the most underrated problem in Bitcoin. And that's right. It's hoarders. Um, there are some hoarders in this room um, right now. It's okay. We've all been there. But there's actually a pretty good reason. Um, and the reason is that there's no incentive to spend Bitcoin. So let me explain. At the end of the day, it comes down to a very simple math problem. The cost of buying and spending Bitcoins exceeds the cost of swiping a credit card. It costs up to 1% to purchase Bitcoins and takes over seven days to get verified. Not to mention, most credit card companies provide rewards for swiping your credit card. So clearly, if Bitcoin commerce is going to take off, we need to get this equation turned around. So Gift was one of the first companies to get this right. Um, not only do they accept Bitcoin, but more importantly, they pass on 3% in savings to their customers. The Google Trends data demonstrates the strength of this relationship. So we looked at this problem and came up with a solution that's much better. It's 15% discounts at the world's largest retailer, Amazon. We're live on Amazon today, everywhere Amazon is available. So let me tell you how this works. So Spencer wants something from Amazon, and he has Bitcoins. So he sets the discount he wants on, on purse, and Beth wants Bitcoins. So Beth purchases Spencer's item on Amazon and receives the Bitcoins in exchange. We facilitate the exchange through a secure escrow. So in the early days of the internet, when very few people were online, Jeff Bezos and the Amazon team um, started with books. So today at Purse, we're starting with Amazon. Um, our company is based in San Francisco, and over the next 12 months, we're going to expand our team, develop additional apps for our marketplace, and beef up our wallets, uh, wallet functionalities. So combined, our team has deep expertise in payments and financial services, um, technical chops with a focus on security, and experience founding and scaling startups. And we're backed by Saeed Amidi, one of the first investors in PayPal, and who saw similarities between our team and our vision. Combined, our team has deep, uh, I'm joined by my co-founder Kent, and we envision a more connected and efficient world through a global consumer marketplace enabled by Bitcoin. So at this time, I'd like to open up the floor for any questions that you might have um, for the next few minutes. Are there any questions? Yeah, so the 15% discount um, is our average discount. So our spenders, it's kind of like a reverse auction. They set the discount that they want. Um, and the buyer is, is paying that discount in, in, in the form of a premium, um, and it's a market rate. So you can feel free to set any discount you want on our site. Um, if you set anything under 15%, it'll get taken that day. Um, it, it, we've had orders go up to 30%, but as liquidity has improved, um, it, that, that settled down around 15%. How does Amazon feel about it? So uh, we've been in contact with, in, trying to get in contact with Amazon, but in, in our opinion, um, there are a, a, lots of merchants um, that are competing with Amazon that are attracting Bitcoiners. And um, from our perspective, we're giving Bitcoiners the option to shop at Amazon where they want to shop. And Amazon is being paid in the way that they want to be paid, um, with a credit card or any other form that they accept. So we see no problem with Amazon doing it. In fact, I think they, they would improve us driving sales to their site. Sure. Um, so the question was about credit card theft. Um, and Amazon has one of the state-of-the-art state credit card fraud protection programs. Uh, and, um, they, uh, and, and so from our perspective, um, we are ensuring that the spender, the person with Bitcoin, receives merchandise. And, and, and we escrow it until they confirm delivery. Um, and in terms of Amazon, um, they, they use proprietary techniques to um, prevent credit card theft. 
Sure. How do you verify So we, we, we check several things, and we can do um, an Amazon order ID, which the buyer, um, the person um, want, who wants the Bitcoin, inputs into our system, and we can track that. Um, we can track purchase, uh, where it's been shipped to, as well as when it's been delivered. Yes, back there. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely, uh, our, um, about 10 to 20 percent of, of, of our customers, or of our spenders, are buying gift cards, which it seems like they're getting an arbitrage opportunity by um, getting um, gift cards um, at a discount um, and probably reselling it somewhere else. I'm not sure. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you.